Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella Hernandez and I'm a licensed esthetician and a holistic skincare developer. Today we're gonna cover a topic of active and inactive ingredients. So every product has both, believe it or not, active and non-active ingredients. So why do we have both and what is the point, right? So active ingredients, are very important because those are the ones that actually make a change in the skin or they have a therapeutic effect. So those are the ones that are actually performing ingredients. Those are the ingredients that will deliver the result that we are looking for. Inactive ingredients are very important as well because a formulation of a product consist of both active and inactive ingredients but what are inactive ingredients are binders fillers in in chemistry they hold everything together because active ingredient has to be mixed or formulated together with inactive ingredient in order to create a product so inactive ingredient might be also a delivering system so the skin can actually absorb the active ingredient it can have some kind of role in putting everything together so inactive ingredients can also be with simple words can also be like adding the flavor adding the color adding the buffer the filler anything you can think of. So in whether we're talking about skincare, we're talking about hair care, even the drugs, right? The, the pills, they are both, they have both active and inactive ingredients because that's just how the com compound works together. So they're both very important. So we cannot never find a product that would only hold active ingredients. So it's important to understand why at the back of your label you have all these other ingredients listed but the active ingredient for example in spalina sunscreen is zinc oxide but then of course it contains other things as well because it has to be all mixed formulated together in order to work so it's very important to understand that both of the ingredients are important but what you're looking for is that you are not just using skincare products that have no active ingredient for a real change, which is the biggest problem in the products that we see over the counter. Because I like to tell the clients the reason why the price is very different of a moisturizer from Target and my moisturizer, Spalina's moisturizer, is because of the active ingredient. So the active ingredient is something that is delivered into a product and mixed together from raw ingredients. So we buy raw ingredients in order to make the products. And that's where the cost difference come into effect. So if you have something that is very low in active ingredient, the price will be a lot lower than something that actually will make a difference on your skin because it has active ingredients that's why it's hard it, we are kind of here comparing apples and potatoes it, it's so different that it's hard to even compare but the active ingredients are the ones that will make a change the same with serums it's even a bigger difference right if you're just buying hydration serum which we should make another video about the very famous hyaluronic acid um, ingredient that's very questionable but let's leave that for another time but let's say it says hydration serum but it doesn't really tell you what is in that serum what active ingredients are we looking for what is the benefit of it so it's very important to understand that they're both necessary but in order to see a change the active ingredient potency has to be formulated the right way to get the result that you're looking for. I know it can be very confusing, um, especially when you try to figure out all these crazy names at the back on the labels and it's like 3,000 of them 
some serums and some moisturizers and some cleansers they do need a lot more ingredients than others so don't always judge based on the ingredient list but be smart and educate yourself and for your face i always suggest you work with a licensed esthetician with a professional who can guide you through the process because when you do have the right products for your skin at the right time at the right combination that's when your skin will perform at its best so active ingredient is very important however i don't suggest you studying chemistry at home in order to understand that but i suggest you invest that time and money to an expert that can help you figure that out because we as um, estheticians myself in particular I've been doing this for so long. I've seen so many different situations, so many different faces, so many different combination of medication, sicknesses, um, skin conditions. So it's easier to pinpoint what the problem is, where you can spend all this time, all this research, all this money trying to figure out where at the end you still didn't get anywhere. You just wasted time and money, but you still didn't get the results. So I always say, leave it to the expert, right? Just like I don't try to fix my computer because I do know how to operate it, but I'm not that good at it. I'm wasting hours trying to figure it out where you can hire somebody, pay them, have it done, less headache, and you get the results. So be smart when it comes to your skin. Um, of course, be educated as much as you can, but don't try to solve the mystery. Let the mystery be solved by a professional. If you find this video informative and helpful, please click like and subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the notification bell button so you can be notified when the new video is released.